when she was born, her legs were up by her ears and her shoulders were internally rotated and she had all, ulnar deviation on her hands and rocker bottom feet. The geneticist came upstairs and told us she had arthrogryposis multiplex congenita. They brought her legs down and they casted her and slowly and surely she started to develop. Our first year with Emma, we found out that there was going to be a conference, and it was in Philadelphia. It was an arthrogryposis family meeting in Philadelphia, where I described the Rex. We watched a presentation on the Rex. And that's how it all started. We ended up in Tarek and Whitney's workshop. The Rex was attached to a stand, and she was able to put her arms into the Rex and for the first time be able to lift her hand up towards her mouth. She just started, you know, throwing her hands around and playing. We were bringing candy up for her to eat and we were bringing toys up there and it was so fun for us to go up there and to see her play. The existing Rex, it's all metal parts and it's kind of big and Emma was too small for that. So we required something light and small that would attach to her body and go with her. So that's where we, we had this uh, Stratasys 3D printing machine and we thought, well, we could print it out for her. And he did it and the weight difference is significant. And for a child who only weighs 25 pounds, it makes a big difference. Whitney and Tarek put their minds together and came up with a jacket and they would put the Rex on that. And we're on our second jacket. She outgrew the first one and now we're on our second one. And it's still evolving. It's still growing into this incredible prosthetic that helps her to use her arms. Without the 3D printer, we would not be in a position we're in with these younger kids making them a Rex device that can go with them. This is one of those industries that matches perfectly with 3D printing, additive manufacturing, because we need custom everything. I think 3D scanning and printing technology is the future for this field. The ABS plastic that they use is the same plastic used in Legos. It's human friendly, if you will. It's really strong and durable to handle the abuse. We can answer a need in a heartbeat. If the Rex breaks, all I have to do is take a picture and email it to Whitney. He knows exactly what the piece is. He prints it out. I go to the hospital or he's even mailed them. I don't have to worry about lead time to machine something, order supplies. I can just basically go back to my program and print out another one. And it's back together and it's working. When she started to express herself, we would go upstairs and we would say, Emma, you know, we're going to put the racks on. And she called them her magic arms. And everyone in the room cried. We took it off of her on this one occasion to make some adjustments to it. And as we took it off, she cried out, I want that. And we didn't think all that much of it. But when mom started to cry, and uh, <clears throat> we look over and ask mom why she's crying, and she kind of takes a moment to recompose herself and tell us that that was her first complete sentence. To be a part of that, you know, a little special moment for somebody else, you know, can't help but uh, kind of tear, tug at your heartstrings.